Hello and welcome to QX. Today I'd like to show you how to cut and shorten the hose of a disc brake on a unicycle. Things we'll need therefore is a hose cutter, for example this one from Jaguar, you can get it in bike shops or appropriate dealers, as well as the accessory delivered with the brake, which is a plastic block to lock the hose while cutting, an olive and an insert. Here we have the brake mounted on the unicycle and as you can see the hose is way too long. By working properly and making sure that the unicycle neither lands forward or backwards or left or right, you will prevent yourself from bleeding the system because usually due to the capillary uh, effect there is no fluid going out of the brake lever and no fluid going out of the gorge. So this way if you work properly you won't have to bleed the system. To be sure, you should maybe do it anyway. Now, just take the protection rubber off and untighten the screw with a wrench, counterclockwise. First part is quite hard, then you can just do the rest with your hand. Then you can take it out. Prepare the hose cutter because we'll need it for the next step. Now just pull the hose out with your hand, it's quite hard but suddenly it unlocks and then you can put it out of the lever with a little click. Okay, now you'll have to define how long you want the hose to be. Hold it like you would like to assemble it on the unicycle and put your hand where you'd like to cut or mark it with a tape. Now be sure that the hose that will keep on the unicycle shows up to the sky so that no fluid gets out. Take the part which we're going to cut off and put it apart directly so that no fluid gets out of there neither. Now we cut. I'm still holding the line upwards to the sky. So far we're finished with cutting. Now I'm going to take the protection rubber and put it on the hose again. Same for the screw. Be sure to assemble it in the right way so that you can assemble it in the lever later. Put the olive on, there is no direction usually, and then put the insert in the tube. Now I've taken the yellow blocks and locked the hose in the vise. Now I'm putting the insert in the tube with a little hammer. I'll have to readjust it now to insert it totally until it's totally sunk in the hose. That's it. And now we are going to reassemble the hose into the lever. Fit it on the unicycle like you would like to mount it and put the hose into the brake lever. Push the olive firmly into the lever. Make sure you can access to the screw. And while pushing the hose with the olive into the lever, you will now screw the screw into the lever, first with your hand, still pushing firmly onto the tube so that the olive is totally in the lever, and then tighten it with the wrench. By tightening it this way, you will squeeze the olive, making sure that the hose is going to keep into the brake lever later. You'll feel some resistance while screwing in the end. Finally, you'll put the rubber protection on again and clean the brake lever or gorge from any fluid that might have gotten off. Now, check the brake lever, push it. If it acts normally like you're used to, everything's okay and you can go on. If it doesn't act normally and you can just push it through without any brake resistance, go to a bike shop and ask them to bleed your system. You will need this to be sure to have the brake power you need. Thanks. See you soon on QX.